Start Plant Obsessed, and uh, we're going to take a look in on a bin we haven't seen in over a month. This is the Red Wiggler only bin. All right. First things first, though, I do need to get my mango tree into a pot, so let's get to that. So what I have here is some soil and some worm castings, of course. And I'm just going to mix up that. I want to make sure that the little baby tree feels like it's at home. All right, guys, stand down. I'm going to get this little tree on his own. So he's got a good root base there. Probably is going to take some uh, of the worms with him in his new home. And it does seem like a little pot, but honestly, they don't need much of a pot for quite a long time. So I am going to put that in there and then give it a bit of a water and then that mango tree can go into my collection I don't know if I should really call it a bonsai or houseplant or whatever but there it is it's in uh, maybe a one pint pot okay now for the worms okay so I have just been keeping these guys in their own bin and I haven't really been looking at them or doing anything with them I've just let them kind of be still so let me move over some of the excess bedding here and let's take a look and see what they've been doing they have been being fed but uh, nothing no filming they've been incognito for a while so let's look and see what's going on looks like they're doing pretty good here Alright, let me, I know I fed on this side, so let's, let's see what we're doing over here. Okay, so there's quite a bit, I think there's two and a half pounds of red wigglers in here. And I'm going to take a handful and move them over here to their own bin, and then I'm going to bury up their food that they were eating spread that out a little bit and let these guys um, stay at it kind of looking to see what all they've got that was a good size worm ball all different kind all different sizes of worms but I do think that I'm getting to the point now where there's too many in here and that they will probably quit breeding so gonna Let's see, let's move that one over too. And then hopefully that will cause them to increase their herd. Break up my avocado thing here. All right, now let's go look and see at the new bin. Oops, get this back over there. Okay, so this bin <clears throat> is com you know is my regular moist bedding and it is shredded cardboard junk mail food boxes um, cocoa coir kelp meal and grit now the reason why that I put the other stuff in here is because I do let this sit for a while and kind of pre compost and it needs that nitrogen from the kelp meal in order for it to get composting otherwise the wet paper will just sit there and, and do nothing so looking at our I don't know put your estimates below what you think I put in here probably maybe a pound what do you think so oops wait there's another ball of it I'm gonna say it's probably a pound I tried to split them in, in half for what I thought was in there um, so that they will start breeding again and let's see what we've got for them to eat kind of move them over there now I just got done processing about 10 gallons of tomatoes and one of the things that I do is I run them through my KitchenAid uh, strainer and all that's left are seeds and skins 
So believe it or not, that is all that's left. Uh, it does not seem like much, but these were all frozen first. And that is all that's left. Those Amish paste tomatoes really do not have very much in the way of seeds. So maybe I should put this closer to one end because it is tomatoes. Um, so of course it does have the ability to get a little warm and also a little acidic. So I'm going to kind of put some bedding in there. And then that will be for the one pound of worms that are in here. And then they can stay away from it if they want to, and then they can also go in there and get it if they want to. But that's been frozen and cooked, so I'm willing to bet that the acidity is somewhat lower than it was previously. All right, guys, well, this is just the, uh, the checkup on the Red Wigglers. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.